guessing better. You're not hungry. When I was little, I got ill. I didn't want any tea. And I hurt all over. What's wrong? I don't feel very well. Mummy took my temperature. Oops, you're a bit hot, Teg, said Mummy. Let's get you to bed. I didn't feel well. Hello. When Daddy came home, he came to see me. Are you okay? You okay, Teg? Just got a bit of a temperature. No, I said. I don't feel well. Wooly cuddled in beside me. I fell asleep. When I woke up next morning, Mummy looked at me in a funny way. I know what's wrong with you. You've got chicken pox. I see what's wrong with you, Teg, said Mummy. You've got chicken pox. I look like a speckledy thing with little red spots. We'll have to get you better, said Mummy. In the day, Mummy read me lots of stories. My spots itched. Mummy put nice cool stuff all over the spots. I even had spots in my mouth. Mummy gave me lollies. Mummy made me lots of mashy meals and sloppy drinks. This one is Bernard. Bernard and <laughs> At night, Mummy gave me puppet gloves to wear so I didn't scratch. I like my puppet gloves. When Daddy came home, we played. We built things on the table. Every day my spots didn't itch quite so much. Oh, no red. Soon I was painting and drawing and doing things myself. Sometimes I felt a bit better. Sometimes I didn't. One day Mummy said, Tig, I think you're getting a bit better. Would you like Angel round to play? Tig, would you like Angel to come and play? Yes. <gasps> and guess what? She's got chicken pox as well. Yeah. <laughs> Angel's got chicken pox too, said Mummy. I was excited. I got all my toys out for Angel to play with. I played jumping from cushion to cushion. Suddenly, I didn't feel well again. I didn't want to see Angel. The doorbell went. That'll be Angel. There's Angel. I don't want to see anybody because I don't feel very well. No, I said. I don't want to see Angel. Hey, Tig, getting better can take a long time. Sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you feel wobbly. Sometimes you feel strange. Getting better is like doing everything for the first time all over again. Whee! Like walking in the street. Or going back to school. Or seeing Angel again. But every time you do something new again, You'll feel a little bit better. So go for it, Tig. Say hi to Angel. It'll make you feel like your old self again. Yes, I thought. I want to be my old self again. You've got spots. I want to see my friend. I want to get better. Angel and me played. When Mummy saw Willy with spots... <gasps> oh. It's only a toy spider. Oh. I like getting better. <laughs> ben, 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 ben. I love Willy. The mountain. See see that? A big tall when I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. 
and sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yeah. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. Are you excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I ate another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way. So you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's a little toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. The birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat at the back for Willy. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Shall I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said. I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willie really likes my new bike too. That night, I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? Said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. 
It was a long way to the shops. Round the fountain, past the playgrounds, I pushed my bike along. Going down the hill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig! You need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig. Pushing a bike is OK, but riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig, sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. Oh. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie. The haircuts. When I was little, my hair grew long. Who's that? I liked my hair long. One day, my mummy took me for a ride on a bus with no roof. On the bus, we saw lots of things. We saw a big crane. Oh, wow, take look, look, look. An aeroplane landed on the water. Some things I didn't see. I just saw my hair. That night, mummy brushed my hair. Oh, my it was all tangly. You're going to have to get your hair trimmed soon. The next day, Mummy and Daddy took me to see a play. Mummy tied my hair in bunches. You won't be able to see the play, said Mummy. Willie came too. There was a funny lady. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. The funny lady had bunchies, just like mine. Do you like my bunchies? You do? You've got bunchies like mine, haven't you? What's your name? Tig. Tig. That's a lovely name. Well, this little ditty is especially for you. One bunch, two bunch, kiss my cheeks, so one bunch. The funny lady sang a song. All about my bunches. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I step and hop and flance, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I step and hop and flance, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. At 
night, Mummy brushed my bunches away. Once you get a wee trim, you won't have all these tangles at the bottom here, will you? The next day, Mummy took me to the hairdresser. Who's next? Said the hairdresser. Me. You coming over? Have a seat. I jumped into the seat. The hairdresser picked up a big pair of scissors. Uh, no, I want my bunches. I didn't like the scissors. I wanted my bunches. Do you want to come over, Brendan? I didn't want my hair cut. Hey, Tig, those scissors might look a bit scary, but don't worry. Cutting hair doesn't hurt. Snip, snip, snippity snip. Look at Brendan. Brendan doesn't mind having his hair cut. He loves it. Snip, snip, snippity snip. And look at the hairdresser. He knows just how to use the scissors so they're safe. Tig, I know how you feel about your bunches. But having your hair cut doesn't mean you can't have bunches again. They might be a little smaller, that's all. But hey, having your hair cut means no more hair in your eyes. Having your hair cut means less tangles. Having your hair cut makes you feel all shiny and new. Oh, I'm happy with my hair cut, my happy, happy hair cut. Go for it, Tig. Get your hair cut. You'll love it. Yes, I thought. I want to be all shiny and new. Nothing to worry about. I'll have my hair cut. Snap, snap, snap. No more hair in my eyes. Snap, snap, snap. No more tangles. I'm happy with my haircut. My happy, happy haircut. Are you happy with that? Yeah. When the hairdresser saw Willy, he wasn't happy. What's that? Only a toy Oh. I like having my hair cut. I love Willy. Did you like it? Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willy came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. Take <laughs> stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I went to fish fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> there were no fish fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. Are you too? Okay, thank you. Thank you. I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then he sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly with green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. Just try a bit. Oh. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like us? You ate an olive. 
said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fresh fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is OK. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. But well, you're loving it, are you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's on your toy spider. Then the waiter came back. <laughs> With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. You really like it. I like new food. You like that? It's all Willy. Yeah, he likes that. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willy. Come on, let's go. The dance class. Are you excited about going to your dance class? When I was little, my daddy took me to my dancing class. I'd never been to dance class before. You're going to the ballet class. Mummy bought me special clothes to wear. My dancing dress was pink. My dancing shoes were pink and soft. You look like a fairy tale princess. Right, let's go to the ballet class, come on. Off we went to the dancing class. Willie came too. Daddy took me to a big, big room. You're going to have fun, Tig. There you go, bye. See you later. OK. For those of you that are new, my name is Miss Lottie, and I hope you're going to try really hard to enjoy your dance classes and listen to everything that I say. Everybody spread out. That's Miss it. Lottie shouted. Music! Right Music, please, Mr Tonka. Mr Honky played the piano. We're going to be trees, OK? So Miss Lottie shouted, trees! Stretch up towards the ceiling. All right, and leaves. Miss Lottie shouted, leaves. Here and there. OK, lambs. Now I want you to skip around like baby lamb. Oh. Miss Lottie shouted, skip! I didn't like Miss Lottie shouting. Lambs. I didn't like Miss Lottie at all. Me and Willie sat beside Mr. Honky and his piano. I didn't like dancing class. Hey, Tig, I want to join in the dancing too. Come on. I don't like the shouted lady. Yes, you're right. When teachers shout, it does seem a bit scary. But Miss Lottie isn't shouting at you, Tig. She's shouting so we can all hear her. Whee! Miss Lottie sounds loud when you're close to her. All right, everybody, we're going to be frogs. Hey, Tig, did you hear that? She wants us to be frogs. I love being a frog. Hey, Tig, look at me being a frog. And crouch, and hop, and crouch, and hop. Ribbit, ribbit. Legs up into the air, bicycle time, and pedal. Pedal? Pedal, 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 whee! Horses, right gallop and trip. Hey, Tig, she wants us to be horses. Click, clop, click, clop, click, clop. Trot, 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 trot. Yeehaw! Phew, Tig, that was so much fun. I'm pooped. Your turn. 
but the shouting. Tig, Miss Lottie has to shout so you can hear what to do above the music. Then I thought, Mr. Honky's piano is very loud, and I don't mind that. Whee! To the side. So I don't mind Miss Lottie shouting. I joined in. I had such fun. I galloped. I was a snowflake. I'd flap your arms and flap. A butterfly. I did kitty cat crawls. I skipped. At the end of the lesson. And stop. Miss Lottie said that I was going to wear the crown. I'd like to present this lovely crown to Tig. Today was Tig's first day. And became a fairy princess. Lovely. I like Miss Lottie. I like dancing too. And I love women. Open wide. When I was little, my mummy took me to see the dentist. Willy came too. I made sure my teeth were really clean. Do you like going to the dentist? Yeah. yeah. Mummy said it was fun and the dentist was going to count my teeth. At the dentist, a nice lady sat behind a big desk. Hello, Tig, said the lady. That's the suckers that we've got, Tig. The lady said I would get a badge for having my teeth counted. We had to wait for the dentist. Lots of people were sitting on chairs. We sat next to a giggly lady. Can you show me how you brush your teeth? I showed the giggly lady how I cleaned my teeth. Oh, that's good. Mrs Kraken, do you want to come through? Oh. A lady asked Mrs Giggly, Come this way, please. Bye-bye, Mrs Giggly. Bye. One, two, three. In the corner of the room was a play shop. Me and some children played play shop. Four, five. I did lots of counting. Take it's your turn now. I like the dentist. Her name was Rita. I've got some juice here that you need to gargle around your mouth and you spit in the bowl. So that washes your tooth and that dries your tooth. Rita showed me lots and lots of things. Things I'd never seen before. There's a slurpy sucker. A water shooter. Sunglasses, a polisher. It's a special, special fast electric toothbrush. It's a special electric toothbrush. Is that good? But best of all was the chair. And then right up into the sky. The chair could go up and down and back and forward like a ride at the fun fair. Right, I'm going to count your teeth now. This is my tooth counter for counting your teeth. Open wide. Please. I shut my mouth. I didn't like the tooth counter. In a minute, she said. Rita chattered and clattered. Hey, Tig. There's nothing wrong with the tooth counter. It's just a magic wand to help Rita with her counting. You'll never know how many teeth you have until you open your mouth. Opening your mouth is as easy as yawning. <sighs> Opening your mouth is as easy as eating a plum. Opening your mouth is as easy as laughing. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay, I said. I'm just going to put my visor on. OK, Tig, open wide for me and we can count these teeth. Open wide, said Rita. Open wide. 
Risa counted my teeth with her magic wand. 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got 20 teeth in there. <gasps> it's only a toy spider. Now you get your sticker. Whee! Are you all done? She was very brave. The lady at the desk gave me my badge. And will they have a sticker? Of course they can. Oh, there you go. Well done. I wanted a badge for Wooly too. I like the dentist. Wooly likes the dentist too. I love Wooly. Hair wash day. One day when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but mummy said me and daddy could play a little. OK, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. Is Willie going to play as well? Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. First, okay. Daddy okay. head okay. first. No peeping, he said. One, I counted to ten, nine, but I couldn't four, quite stop peeping. Nine, ten, up. Here I come. I found Daddy behind the sofa. <laughs> Willie's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No eight, peeping. Nine, ten. Wooly was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Wooly. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Wooly are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten. Okay, you ready? No peeking, Wooly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Wooly opened their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? They looked for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Well, she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tig? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh, dear. Found you, Tig! No wonder we couldn't find you. You moved hiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes, like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut, no peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping, all done. No more stings. <laughs> hey Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> yeah, rubber dubber. I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Before the bath gets cold. Why don't you go to wash Willie's hair as well? Bath time, said Mum. Mummy washed my hair. I closed my eyes tight. It's cold. What's like in hide and seek. I think it's too hot. But you can do it. One double double. Two rubber double. Three rubber double. Four rubber double. Five rubber double. Six rubber double. Seven rubber double. Eight rubber double. Nine rubber double. Ten rubber double. And swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash. <gasps> and Mummy jumped. Don't worry, Mummy. Oh, and my toy spider. Ah. Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willy. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willy. I love Willie.
Tig. <laughs> <laughs>